Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have an animal, a highland cow. Not a normal cow, a highland cow. So what does that mean? Well, a highland cow seems to be really hairy. Right, so we're gonna give this our best shot because he's got like a big fringe of hair that comes across his head. And he's real furry. I guess because they have to deal with like really harsh winters up there in the highlands. So, where to begin is the question, because you can't really see his eyes. You can see one eye. <coughs> we do that one eye first? No, I think the snout, right? The snout down here, and then we horns up this way, and then we'll try and get the eye in. What do you think? Let's go for it. Okay, so center point of my page is about here. We'll come down and we'll start with his snout, right? So we'll just do sort of brackets, right, to get us started. Brackets on the side here, okay? Like, they don't have to be even, you know, because it's a natural creature. So, and then this comes up and down. Like that, right? So this is like our snout. And then inside here we have, well, this comes up a little bit higher first. And then we have nostrils on the inside, right? So it comes around like so. Like these sort of raindrop kind of shapes like this. And then there's like a shadow or something inside here. like that and then we do the same thing on this side like so and then there's there's like a skin flap or something there and then inside here she's all like shadow like so and then of course you can have the light lines coming around for the edges of his snout like this. And there is like some whiskers as well. Not a lot of whiskers, but a couple. I didn't realize cows had whiskers, just looking at this picture. They seem to have a few. Right, so then the bottom of his chin, right? So it's kind of like hairy, furry sort of line. Comes around there. I mean, it's a real furry creature. And then, so we'll just thicken this up just to show that there's a bit of a bottom lip or a shadow just down here. Like so. So coming around here, then we have lots more sort of fur, right? So like, <clears throat> this kind of thing. And then his snout will go sort of this way. This has kind of fur lines and things on it as well. Right, and then his face comes out from the side here. And again, you know, you want it to be kind of furry looking. Oops, about there, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And his eye is actually on this side of his face, so. there. <clears throat> Where's where I get that eye in, right? So just like above, say, and then we'll draw like a line just here. So just here, right? We're going to do like a curved line into there. 
This is the only eye we can see now. And then we have some like eyelashes sticking down here. that and then there's some eyelashes going up that way and around kind of like for a top eyelid or something and then the eye itself down from here around and in to there and we'll be given Pupil, can't see a pupil, but what would a pupil look like on a cow? I'm gonna say something like that. That's not bad. And then we have some eyelid lines coming around here. some hatching on top of his eye and again like hairy bags around his eye there and a bigger hairy bag coming around his eye and back up into there Kind of goes that way. Right, so then, right, so we just have like big floppy hair, basically, right? So the top of his head, so his horns come out up here, and then the rest is like hair, right? So let's see, so we'll just, we'll add, we'll start adding some hair, right? We'll just go like, So it's like real floppy sort of hair spikes. Right, so that's like the start of it. It's just the beginning. And some here. And then it comes down across his eye here and down this way. And it comes across his face and there's just all these kind of hair spikes coming up and around his head and there's loads of these now you can add as much of this as you want you can make it as stylized as you want and by stylized I mean like more cartoony or less cartoony more realistic as you want as well right so Right, so this kind of stuff. Like so. And then there's like some more texture and hair and stuff coming down his, his face here. So then, so it goes, it keeps going and comes down the side of his head over here. So we'll go like down this way, right? And we'll add some more coming out. So, right, and we'll keep going, adding as much as we can. I 
like so. And eventually these two parts will meet at some point. So this hair wants to go, this hair wants to curve this way. And this hair wants to curve that way. So then there's a change in direction happening at some point. So that means here, put it mostly in the middle. to go all the way up to the top of his head which is like at the top of his horns so where the horns come out so like I'm gonna guess so like say the top of his head would be there roughly because like eyes to nose that's about the eyes would be about halfway between the top of his head and his nose, right? So here to here, about the same as there to there. So I'm going to put his top of his bumps of his head here, right? And he, he could have some hair spikes kind of bumping across. You know, coming down to meet these. There's some like ones coming across here. some more down here. So I think this side might need to be a little bit wider. All right, so that's what we're getting there. We're getting there. So this is like the hardest part of doing it. Sketching all these sort of pieces of hair in. Getting them kind of floppy looking. <laughs> right, so I think that's the best I can do, right? So his horn roughly comes out, say, say there on that side. It should be a roughly the same line. So like, yeah, roughly like here. Nice, that's where his horn comes out. So we'll go like up real big with it and then comes back down like so and same roughly on the other side be like some hair just covering some of this you know, where it actually like comes out something similar over this side like some just some hair
So some of this hair can come quite long down his snout as well. Right, so then he's got like big fluffy ears, right? So they come down. So from underneath the horn, right? If you want, you can add some texture on the horn as well, actually, I forgot to mention that. So it's just like these sort of wrinkle lines. Come down like this. Okay. So you can't really see the other eye there. It's co totally covered with hair. Right, so that ear then. So we'll go just here, sticking out, right? And again, real furry. And then we'll go all the way in to like here, right? So. And then there'll be an interior part as well. So we've got this like furry outside section and then we have a furry darker inside. Just adding some shadow and some hatching just in underneath this ear. And give this some texture as well. And then we do pretty much the same thing over here. So we just add a furry sort of ear line. And then a furry insight line as well. Just adding a dark shadow. Inside here, just to darken it up, make it look like there is some shadow inside this part of his ear.
Trying to make it look just a little bit hairier as well. thicken up maybe these the edge lines of these horns just to make them stand out a little bit more just give them a thicker edge extra heavy line weight that's what that is and so like underneath say some of these hair spikes just darkens up the underneath of them and gives them a bit of a shadow have the lines on a page that are some thicker and thinner than others it just gives a little bit of extra importance to those lines so that's all I'm doing now it's totally optional of course you know if you're coloring this it's not as important I guess but it can help Okay, so then, so you can add a highlight to the eye. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna use white paint or Tipex. If you want, when you're coloring the pupil, you could leave a white dot, you know? But I like to add a, bit, a little bit of a dot. Just the eye there. Makes it sort of sparkle a bit. Right, so, next. <clears throat> His body, right, so crazy big comes out from back here, right? So, and the other side, like underneath the horns, like there, right? So it's like the, the width of the body. And then the neck sort of comes down from the face here, right? So we got like some spiking coming down like so. side as well but it's kind of just different furry sections coming down like this and some extra fur coming down the center like there right so that's kind of normal if the if the cow was sort of looking at us dead on but we have his back right here, so big, sort of wide, roundish. Sort of body here. And on this side as well. Okay, and then you'll just add like some more sort of lines just to show that there's some other sections to his body as well. on coming down from here okay so then you just sort of touch things up that's pretty much it though um, you just touch things up now how you feel 
what parts need what shadow underneath his chin if he wants Right, but I think that'll have to do. That is how to draw a Highland cow. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> In the next video. Bye.